Hello everyone and welcome back to GLB Productions. Bruno Luce here, thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to look at how to replace the ear pads on a pair of DT770, 880 or 990 Bayer Dynamic headphones. As you can see, the pads on this pair are well and truly worn out. They're supposed to be a light gray in color. They are now the color of dirt and the foam that covers the diaphragm is completely disintegrating. So we're gonna make this look like this. So to begin with, you need the pads from Bayer. There's your part number. You can get them either in the gray Vela or in the black Vela. And when they come, they will come with the ear pad itself the foam that covers the diaphragm, and some very useful instructions. The instructions actually have a series of pictures there in different languages as well to show you how to remove not just the ear pad, but also the ring that holds the internal foam in place. So please do refer to those as necessary. You will also need a tool to pry the tension ring off. Now, Bayer actually recommend using a bread knife for this. Uh, I have found that this screwdriver, which came with my Singer sewing machine, to be the ideal tool. You want something that is flat, thin, but not sharp, because you don't want to damage the headphones themselves. Okay, so to begin with, what we're going to do is we are going to remove the old ear pad. Now, Bayer actually recommend that you position the headphones like this in order to improve access to the pad itself. So the pad itself is very easy to remove. All you do is you simply take hold of it and you pull it off, right? You can see it start to separate there and it will simply come right off, okay? And these can either be washed and put back into service as these are quite a disaster. I'm going to dispose of them. All right, now the next thing that we need to do is we need to remove this plastic, what Bayer called the clamping ring. Now, in order to do this, you need a tool of some kind. Um, do not use a knife that is sharp. You can use a bread knife or, as I said, you can use this tool that I found. You want to be very careful that you don't work inwards because you could damage the diaphragms of the headphones. What I normally do is I will place the screwdriver here. Apologies if it's a bit hard to see. And I will push down until I hear a click, right? And then I'll just simply pry up. Now, this may take a couple of attempts there until I get it in deep enough. Now, once you loosen it, you can get your fingernails in there. It may need a little bit more persuasion. But eventually, and you may, might need to pry at a couple of different points. But eventually, it will come off. As you can see there. Now, obviously, the foam here is completely disintegrated with age, so we want to be really careful. So, first thing is I'm going to remove this from the old uh, clamping ring into the dustbin. Okay, and obviously, we use a soft brush to remove the remainder of that. Now, you'll also notice that there is a lot of foam residue uh, just here on the inside of the cup. Now for that, I like to use a blower. Uh, I recommend don't use compressed air, right? And you can just use your fingers, right, to remove it. Uh, I don't use a brush on this because again, uh, there's a chance of tearing this membrane here. All right, good. And we're back. So what we have now is a nice clean diaphragm and housing and what we need to do is we need to install the foam the clamping ring and finally the ear pad itself so installing the foam is really easy all you do is you place it in there and then 
you look for the small indexing tab there on the outside of the ring. You match it up with the notch in the housing and you just press the two together. At the same time, being careful not to shift the foam around. Right? Just press it in as you can hear there. Make sure that it snaps in and that bit is done. Now, installing this is as, um, shall we say, challenging as this is simple. And the reason is, is um, that when they make these, you can see that it is exactly the same size as the ear cup. So in order to get this flexible ridge around the outside, um, it can be very frustrating indeed. So what I normally do is I'll take a soft brush and I'll clean this area here because it uh, accumulates a lot of dust. And then Bayer Dynamic recommend using a hair dryer to heat up this area around here. Now, those of you who do not have a hair dryer but do have a heat gun, please don't use a heat gun because chances are is you'll melt this into a irreparable mess. And you don't need to get it hot, you just need to get it warm, enough such that it becomes pliable enough to stretch over the outside of the cup. So I'm going to set the uh, hairdryer on low heat and then we'll just go around here. And that's generally enough, just until this becomes pliable. Now, as soon as that's done, you want to really quickly bang it onto the ear cup, right? So it's probably easiest for you to just look at what I'm doing here, but you can see as quickly as possible, you want to slip it over there and then work your way around the circumference of the ear cup, right? Now, if we hadn't done that heating procedure, this would be quite stiff and non-compliant, but because we did, it's fairly easy to do. All right. So I just work my way around there. And what I tend to find is easiest is if you work from the bottom up. Now, here there will be a point which tends to block, so you gotta just work your way through that. Okay, now, when that is done, I normally do the other side. You can see there. Sometimes you have to use your fingers from inside. Sometimes you have to push and pull and sway and uh, yeah, but um, all right. Now, when you get it to this point, this getting this last bit on is the tricky part. So don't be in a hurry and just very, very slowly holding here and on the other side, you just need to worry it on. All right, as my father used to say. So again, as you push one side, the other side will try and lift up. All right, now I hope you can see what I'm doing there. Okay. All right. Be patient. It will work. There we go. And once again, you want to make sure that it's fully seated. And there we are. Now, when you do this for the first time, don't expect it to be that smooth. <laughs> All right. But um, the great thing about these headphones, as I said in my review done several years ago, is that they are fully modular and completely serviceable. So all of the parts can be replaced. And this particular set of headphones, it's on its second headband. And this is the third set of pads. Um, so they really are a remarkable construction, a very unusual in this day and age of throwaway culture. So that's how you replace your ear pads on your Bayer 770, 880 or 990 headphones. This is Bruno Luce uh, for GLB Productions. Please do take some time to visit the Amazon store which supports the channel and you can also buy these headphones there. Thanks very much for watching. If you have questions or comments, please do leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.